Aloha, this is Philip with EXP Realty. We're just checking out 8322 Mahiko Place in Keikaha. It is a four bedroom, one bath, 10,080 square foot property. We're down here in the kitchen. I'll take you through, show you the good, the bad, and uh, see if it makes sense here. So here's our kitchen. Looks like some countertops. It looks like they went around and sealed the property. It's got electric and gas coming in for a stove here. There's no st stove present, so we might have to do a rehab loan possibly or bring a stove in. Um, it has a hood, has a skylight in metal roofing. So I'm not too hot on that, not sure. There, a lot of the metal roofing looked like it was rusted, so it probably could use a roof. Lots of floor level changes. So this goes from subfloor down to feels like concrete. You've got wood paneling on the walls. Some sort of wood material on the ceiling. Looks like single wall construction almost. And then you got jealousy windows. Makeshift closet here. To make this a bedroom. And then as you can see some really old style plugs that come out of the wall. Step up, you get this looks like plank kind of flooring. I noticed some termite damage. There's a pantry here. Slightly sloped roof with a beam ceiling. And then this looks like it's been added on but it's also on ground level. So you step down into the uh, bathroom. Kind of short ceilings, about six foot over in the corner, eight foot in the top. Built-in shower, walk-in. So the back door leading to the backyard. Slight floor level change, but it feels back, like we're back on concrete over on this side. And you really can't see this, but I'll see if I can bring it down. If you look, the floor is not quite level here, so it looks like it's wavy. I'm not sure what that means. Is the concrete below it's bad, or if it's just the laminate flooring on top? You'll see that it does need treated for termites. Second, this is a second bedroom. Closet. Windows, paneling. This is kind of like a living room, it looks like. Taller ceilings because of the way the roof is pitched. Jealousy windows, and then uh, another floor level change up to here. So now we're on a subfloor. An electrical box. You can see what's up above the, the ceiling there. Looks like the ceiling is just panels and then there's a metal roof. That one looks like in good condition. A little floor level change. This looks like it's maybe a master is what they were using it as because it's got a great big closet. Paneling, ceiling fan. There's piles. You can see that's termite damage. Floor feels solid, but you never know what's below. This looks like it's another full-size bath to service this. Must be only permitted with one bath. And then we have another room here. All the windows are jealousy windows, so you can't see there's not much of a view. I mean Got neighbors across, neighbors on one side, and then here's another. There used to be a walk-in closet up here. So neighbors across, neighbors around the uh, one side, and then an open lot on the second side. We'll take a quick peek out back and then exit here.
your hot water tank is sorry about the the view the hot water tank is outside looks a little bit older there's your condition of your roof some electrical that's not up to code to run a uh, lights that are out here plumbing's run through PVC here's the outside structures which I don't think were permitted at all so may need to be torn down I would tear them down and just redo something back here some neighbors that are kind of it's like they've got some makeshift stuff going on over there too in the back neighbors in the back look nice got some fruit trees back here here's the condition on the exterior of the house you can see the deferred maintenance and then this this just needs to be torn down looks like it's on cesspool um, there's gas, exterior side of the house here, and carport. Concrete carport, covered. Neighbors out front. Older house. Looks like maybe they did this as a duplex at one point. They converted it over. So they rented one side out long term and lived in the other side. The reason for the two bed bathrooms, etc. There's the front door. Of course you saw the back door. Side yard. Other portion of the backyard. It's a block and a half away from the beach, right by the school. And the other, the only other two things to disclose is it's close to that old sugar mill. As you can see the uh, spire from that. And then down at the end of the road, there's a electrical where they distribute energy down at the end of the road. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, maybe this is the next property. It needs a lot of work. Um, but pricing, you know, it's one of the lower priced properties on Kauai, so you got to figure out how handy you are and how much money you want to put into it. But, uh, could be a great property or, uh, first time home. Anyways, hope you like the video. Aloha.